There's some, there's a bunch of shad right there. I can't miss here, can I? Man, not a very good throw, but I should have got a lot. Oh yeah, I got a lot of them. Oh yeah, we got plenty here. Look at that. Oh boy, that's more than I need. <laughs> Let's try to put the rest back. Throw a bunch of them back. That is gonna be plenty. Alright, well, might as well try here for a little bit. Place has been getting hit pretty hard, but let's see if there's any, anything left in here. I'm just gonna bounce around to as many of my of the deep holes that I know that I can find, and see if we can find any fish in this drying up creek. Got one. What is that? Smallmouth? Yeah, there we go. Smallmouth. There we go. Let's see if there's any bigger ones in here. <clears throat> this is a big fat hunk of worm. This is gonna this is gonna attract the walleye that I always catch in here. Another fish on it. That's something I think I want to see here. This feels good. Maybe a smallie? Oh, he's a fighter, geez. Demon Christmas. Not even that big of a smallie. Decent for this creek, that's not bad. But, uh, but he fought hard in this light setup. It's always fun to catch these guys. Nice fat smallie. I haven't caught any spots or hybrids like I usually do. Maybe we'll get into that one of those. That guy was a good fighter. Nice to see the smallies in here. Now we just need the wallies. <clears throat> Another fish on it instantly. He's sitting down there with it. I don't want to let him swallow it. Oh no. This is going to be a snag. Shoot. Dog on it. So I got it out. Oh, I got a fish. What the heck's going on here? Another smallie. Oh. Kind of want to see you, dude. There he is. He's trapped. Oh, there he goes. I got him. I got him. I got him. No, I lost him. I got him. Gotcha, dude. <laughs> I don't know how I did, but that was crazy. That guy took me into a rock and somehow got me out of the rock. All right, this is looking good. Now I'm snagged again. My snag now. All right, this is looking good so far. Three smallies in like the first 10 minutes. Dang. Another fish on it. Just constant bites down there. Got him. Might be bluegill time. Yep, now the bluegills are coming in. Got one. Sunfish time. Get back my worm, bro. That was a green sunfish. This mud is so slippy, I just can't keep my feet barely just sliding around. All right, this used to be a good spot. I don't think it is anymore. I can see an undercut bank over there. See it right there. I'm gonna throw a piece of shad in here just because I've caught some nice channels out of here in the past. 
just let a piece of shad soak in here for about three minutes. They will be on it in about one minute or less if they're in there. I'm just gonna put like half a shad. I'm just gonna throw it right on this jig head. What the heck? Just put it just like that. The old jig head shad rig. Just send it down. Right by where I saw that undercut bank. This used to be a good spot. There's a fish on it right away. What the heck? Got one on it. Doesn't feel... Wait a second. Oh, there he is. Well, I heard fighter. Is it Smalley? Yep, Smalley. Smalley busted that shad quick. The old shad and a jig head, and it took about 10 seconds. Decent. Look how fat that guy is, man. Little shad eater. Wasn't what I was expecting, but he was on it as soon as it hit the water. Look at that. He's been eating some shad. Okay. Maybe shad's the way to go. For all species. I'm just breaking them in half with my fingers. Forgot to bring my knife. There we go. Let's throw a big chunk in there. I'm ripping the tail off. You can see I'm ripping the tail off just so that the blood and guts kind of get into the water. Give it more scent, as if it needs any scent. I know you guys can't smell through your phone or computer, but it's strong smelling stuff. Oh, there's a fish on it. Here we go. He's on it. Let's see if he gets that hook. Whoa! <laughs> That's the problem with that jig head. It's a pretty small hook for a big piece of shad. Let's put a small one on there. It's a small piece. Just a, just put a small little head piece on there, shall we? There. There's the spot, that's right next to that undercut. A little bit deeper over there. Something was bumping it. Yep, he's, he's, he's eating it. Come on, be a big cat. Or a big smallie. Got him. Not very big, I don't think. What is it, a little channel? Another smallie? Yep, another smallmouth. Little shad eaters. Oh, no, 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 here we go. This is a hybrid right here. Or a spot, yeah, it's a hybrid. Oh, dang it. Ah, crap. I wanted to get a look at him, that was a hybrid. Dang. Gotta do a better job of holding these fish. We are getting into some bass today, folks. That was a really cool looking fish. He looked mostly like a smallmouth, but he, had little, he was all spotty on his tummy and everything. Clear sign of a spotted bass, so it was definitely a hybrid. And I would walk 500 miles and I could 500 more just to be. Okay, it looks good. I was afraid it would look too shallow, but it looks pretty darn good. I'm gonna have to crawl into this log really quick. Maybe I should just go straight up on top of it. I think I'll try and get straight up on top of it. Can I muscle up onto it? One, two, three. Oh. Dang it. I can't. Can't get up on it from this way. Okay. Crawl under. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. This log looks easy to get up onto, but it's not. Uh, 
hold on, baby. Hold on. Okay. It looks so easy, but it's really hard. It's just the shape of it. Needless to say, this is a raccoon's home for sure. Ooh. I thought that was going to support me, and it didn't. Dang. There's just all kinds of raccoon poop and other poop. Dropping my shad in straight away. Come on, flatheads, be there. Be there, flatheads. If I get a bite, my heart's gonna jump because you never know. Could be a flatty. Yeah, there's something little messing with me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. It's a pretty good bite there at the end. He was swimming upstream with it, so I thought I had him. Let's not get too jumpy. He's gonna have to really get a hold of it to get that jig head in his mouth. All right, that's pretty amazing. I'm gonna catch all those small mouth and spotted bass, whatever, at that other little just kind of very average looking hole, and then I come to this money spot and there's nothing. I'm gonna keep trying though. Not giving up that easy. I'm gonna climb down here if I can. How's that root for strength? Mm, this looks sketchy as all heck. Oh boy. There's not many good places to put my feet. Okay. Not too bad. Okay, we just wanna be Kind of careful because we're standing right on top of them. We don't want to make too much noise, of course. About right here. Just doesn't make sense that this wouldn't be loaded with fish. I mean, come on. Are you serious? There's a fish, there's a fish. Something just grabbed it. I got him. Yeah, I got him. He's big. What is it? I snagged him. That's why he felt so big. Channel. What the, how the heck did I snag you in the side, man? Oh, I thought that was gonna be my flathead. The way he took that down. A little bit bigger channel. And I'd been sitting there waiting. I, I just pictured it like, man, there's gonna be a flathead. He's gonna be way down deep in there. It's gonna take him a while and then he's gonna finally find his way out here. And he's gonna come smoke one of these shad. And that was exactly what happened or seemed like what was happening. And so I was all excited. I was like, oh gosh. And then it was a channel. I'm okay with it being a channel. I don't know how in the heck I snagged him in the side, but. This clam. Look at the path this clam's followed, and there it is right there. I don't know how those things move, but you can see how he just drug himself. Look at his path. He came all the way across here. <laughs> Freshwater clam. <laughs> 